Kit Harrington is super happy about how Jon Snow's ending happened, and John Bradley, Sam's actor, got traumatized. So first I want to talk about how Kit Harrington thinks Jon Snow had the perfect ending. He said, Obviously I dearly loved it. I loved every moment of it. I love the character. It's a weird feeling, but I feel kind of happy for him, the character, if that makes sense. For me, that's the perfect ending for him. It's where I wanted him to be. I didn't want him on the throne, and I didn't want him to be dead. I wanted him to be in the North, where he belongs. My feeling is where he ended in the show is exactly where he should have ended. There is a full circledness to it. This nomination feels like a full circle too. It's a lovely way to say goodbye to the show. It's perfect in my book. Oh yeah, he was like one of the only people nominated, <laughs> by the way. Um, I find it interesting how much Kit Harrington loves Jon Snow's ending, where I guess it is okay. I mean, he is now beyond the wall. He can fuck a bunch of wildling bitches. He can have children. They don't really care about bastards there, even though he's technically not a bastard anymore. Still don't understand why he can't go back to the North after the Unsullied leave, but you know, whatever. As long as you're happy with John's ending kit, I guess it's okay. So now let's talk about how John Bradley, Sam's actor, was uh, traumatized and how Game of Thrones gave him a stammer. So John said on playing Sam, I got into this trap with Sam. I set myself traps because he had a traumatic childhood and suffered a lot, and it manifested through a stammer and a twitch sometimes. It can cause psychological barriers to show how he was brought up in a highly charged environment and he was almost frightened to speak and he's not sure whether he's allowed to speak or to express his opinion on things and so I thought, how am I going to show that? Which I don't know if this is a popular opinion or not, I think uh, Bradley played Sam very well and that abused person who was sent to the wall because his dad was like, hey, uh, I know you're the, the heir to this but you can either go to the wall and renounce all that, or we can have a hunting accident. And you know, besides dressing him in women's clothing and, and choking him and bathing him in blood, there was a whole lot to it that I would imagine Sam would be a stammering mess. Unfortunately, it's kind of stayed with him with other roles, so he also shared that. There are takes of me where it felt like it would be five minutes where I'm just standing with the other actors and I couldn't speak and I just can't get the words out and certain sounds would trip me up. In one scene, I came in first with Kit Harrington, and in the nicest way he said to me, can you come in a bit quicker so I can react a bit quicker? And I was like, I can't. I just can't. As lovely as the crew were, they assumed it was because I had forgotten my lines. It took me a while to get out of it, and it went away over time. Towards the end of that journey, that stammer would turn up in non-Sam acting, and I'd do auditions when I'd stammer because it just seemed like the default place that I went to when I acted. I think people thought it was part of me, but it wasn't. But it was performance anxiety. See, that just shows you what some actors will suffer through to embody a character. And again, I think he did a great job being Sam. And I think Sam got the happiest ending possible for his character. He's also really underqualified for the job he has, but that's pretty much Bran's entire small council. So hey, what do you think about Kit Harrington thinking this was John's perfect ending? Do you agree with that? And do you think that Bradley did a really good job in portraying Sam and the trauma he had in his life? Like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear.